10 o'clock, the day a Houston couple was supposed to remember for the rest of their lives was postponed in the early stages of this pandemic. Their wedding was originally scheduled for April and then rescheduled for next month. But with this pandemic still ongoing, the couple's now trying to get a refund, but so far they haven't had any luck. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone is live on Houston's West Side tonight with a closer look at what the venue is doing to try and work with this couple. Jacob, both sides have been impacted by this pandemic. Yeah, as you might imagine, it's a difficult time to be in the wedding industry and, of course, to be engaged to be married. In this case, the bride and the groom are from out of state, and many of the wedding VIPs have underlying health conditions. The wedding just won't work, and they'd like a partial refund. The owner here says he's just learning about some of these issues today. Dee Dee and Corey have been planning the big day since early last year. The most difficult decision might have been the wedding venue. And it kind of brought tears to my eyes. And that was, that was it. I called him immediately. I was like, I found it. This, <laughs> this is it. We're getting married here. Everything about Ashton Gardens and the wedding planning seemed perfect until Dee Dee's father died suddenly six months before the big day. And then came COVID-19. Our close family has a lot of heart, diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer survivors. I mean, you name it, immediate family. Most wedding VIPs from the maid of honor to the groom himself suffer from an underlying health condition, DD says. She rescheduled the wedding without penalty from April to September. But when she called again last month, it was either we take the date or we lose our money. I can't even reschedule. So you're not even meeting me in the middle. We try to find uh, the best answer possible uh, for both parties, for them and for us. Ashton Gardens owner Brad Schneider says he feels bad for Dee Dee. He adds the wedding industry is also struggling. If the industry just gave everybody back, uh, uh, gave their money back, and canceled uh, events, uh, the industry, you know, people in the industry wouldn't last that long. Brad says he does not dispute Dee Dee's account, but he would have liked more time after learning about some of these issues today to be able to respond. He plans to reach out to Dee Dee and hopes to come to a resolution. He says they care about all their clients. Reporting live in West Harris County, I'm Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News.